Alana, this is Josh, and this is the FCR Recycling Facility. We're here to show you what happens to your recyclables after they leave your house. Hey Alana, do you think we can recycle this mirror? Oh yeah, you can't recycle mirrors. You think that you can because they're glass, but you can't recycle it. Yeah, of course you can. I'm totally going to recycle this and take it to like a craft fair and win awards and stuff. No, no, I'm sorry. You're, you, you can't recycle it. Yeah, alright. Well, how about styrofoam cup. Yeah, no, you can't recycle styrofoam. Sorry about that. What else you got? What else really? What else you have over well, here? How about this? Huh? Perfect. Pressure. Absolutely not. No, no you can't. Really? Come on, something else. What else you have? All right. Seriously. Oh, okay. Now, this looks a little it's tricky. Really cool, right? Yes, it does look very cool, but you can't recycle metal here at the FCR facility. Some facilities you can recycle metal, but not here. So, uh, sorry. Dude, I can't believe someone threw that away. Yeah. That's ridiculous. The scooter goes. Oh, this is going to be a winner, yeah, right? Look definitely good. not. None of these were recyclable, but check it out. These are. Some examples of acceptable recyclable items include newspaper, cardboard, cartons, junk mail, magazines and inserts, cereal boxes and chipboard, craft paper bags, plastic bottles number one and two, tin cans like soup, pet food and vegetable cans, aluminum beverage and food cans, plus glass bottles and jars. All right, nice video. Short and informative. It really was. All right, so all the stuff that you put in your recycling bin gets uh -huh. dumped here, and it's all mixed up like this. That's because FCR is a zero sort or single stream facility, meaning that they separate your recyclables for you. Really? That is so nice. It really is. No more separate bins for glass, paper, and plastic. They pick it up, they take care of it. Pickups? Love trucks. Well, let's go check some out. Yes. All right, so this bad boy pulls up in front of your house and picks up your glass and paper and plastic. You mean, that's not a regular garbage truck? you think so, but this truck has a lot of advantages. Wait, you mean like... Cup holder? Hey, you guys have cup holders, right? <laughs> Zero sort recycling impacts our environment in more ways than we realize. Because we don't have to separate our recyclables into different bins, we recycle more. We also need less truck pickups. That translates to less traffic, which everyone loves, and most importantly, less pollution, which reduces your carbon footprint. Your family's recycling habits help New Jersey have the highest recycling rate of any state in the country at 56%. And that's something to brag about. Speaking of bragging, did you know that Americans use 4 million plastic bottles every hour? Really? Yeah. And that if you save one aluminum can, just one, you can use enough energy to power a TV for three hours. Wow. And then if you recycle a newspaper, yeah, just one of these bad boys here, just one, Sunday newspaper, you can save 500,000 trees. 500,000 trees. It's true. Where do you suddenly have all this recycling and forestry knowledge? Oh, it's actually right here in my script. They, they gave it to me. Come on, I'll show you how the sorting happens. So the sorting trick starts here, and the process is surprisingly mathematic. It's all based on physics and geometry. Weight and dimension are factored in how all this stuff is going to be shaped out. Some stuff is going to go up, other stuff is going to go down. Wow, that really sounds like some math. Do I need like a pencil or a calculator or something? Just come with me. Recyclables get on the feed drum conveyor belt, they then go to the in feed belt. That's a lot of feeding. I might need to tell this thing to go on a diet. Next, we come to the free sort station where things like bags and large items are removed. Yeah, no plastic bags, seriously. I mean it. Yeah, absolutely. Things like plastic bags, lawnmower parts, those items can bring the whole process to a screeching halt. And uh, that costs us lots of valuable recycling time. Yeah, and money. Yeah. So wait, I could actually recycle my money, turn it into more money. Why has no one thought of this? Really? 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 Okay, so no plastic bags, no styrofoam, no basketballs, and definitely no co-host. Not going to go in a zero-sort recycling place like this. No. All right. 
overs and unders check it out this is cool okay light objects like uh, newspapers they're 2d and since they're lighter they travel up a screen thus making them overs now there are 3d objects like bottles and like bottles and cans and they're heavier they fall due to earth's gravity thus the term unders now after they travel up their screen and then fall down due to gravity, they pass through two additional screens, whereas the overs have a shorter journey. They have to go through a little bit of quality control and then it's on to the bailing process. <laughs> Bottles and cans go through a glass breaker and then tin, aluminum, and plastic goes on to the next step. Awesome. Yeah. Wow, recycling is really neat. It is kind of neat. Yeah. At this point, the aluminum cans and plastic bottles are still together. That is until they need this guy. Okay, sure, okay. This noisy guy right here is activated. This is a belt magnet. Before the materials get here, they go through a manual sort to pull out the plastic bottle. What's left passes over this eddy current. An eddy current is a rare earth magnet that repels aluminum. No. I know, I was waiting for that to sink in. It repels aluminum. It's so strong that it literally throws aluminum cans off of the belt. So the aluminum, which is now separated, gets bailed up. What's left, which at this point is just garbage, also gets bailed up and then shipped off to a landfill. After the sorting happens, each type of recyclable is brought here, put together in one of these huge bales, and then they're good to go. Oh, it would be like the biggest spitball of all time over there. And some of these materials, like aluminum, can be back on the shelf in as little as 45 days, which means when you recycle today, you might be able to recycle again in a month. Where did you get that? That may be the smartest thing you didn't say all day. Was that in the script too? Yeah, it's actually right here. Uh, front, I thought so, I thought so. Remember, you can help your environment by recycling the zero sort way with the following items. Aluminum food and beverage containers like soda, beer and cat food cans, glass food and beverage containers, ferrous cans consisting of soup, vegetable, coffee and pet food cans, pet plastic containers with the symbol number one. These are narrow neck containers, meaning a bottle with a cap like soda juice, and water bottles. HDPE natural plastic containers with the symbol number two, like narrow neck milk jugs and water jug containers only. HDPE pigmented or colored plastic containers with the symbol number two, such as narrow neck detergent, shampoo, and bleach containers without their caps. Old newspaper, including the inserts. Craft paper bags. These are generally brown paper grocery bags. Cardboard, including pizza boxes, but no leftovers please, and no wax coated containers. Cereal boxes and chipboard, items like beer or soda carriers. Cartons, including items like milk, juice, or broth cartons. Magazines, these include coated magazines, catalogs, and similar printed materials, junk mail, plus soft cover books.